Hey, it's Donny Cates, and you are watching Jim Mint Collectibles. And uh, go fuck yourself, I don't know. Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Jim Mint, back with another Omnibus That Double Dip video. Guardians of the Galaxy on the list again. Stay tuned. <laughs> So, right here we have Guardians of the Galaxy by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning. And we have the War of Kings trilogy, Realm of Kings, and, and all that stuff. So, this is a huge double dip. And it, it's kind of a problem for uh, collectors who have to have everything, right? This Guardians of the Galaxy run uh, collects the 2008 volume, issues 1 through 25, and a couple other miniseries that we'll talk about. But it's basically the movie version of the Guardians and the comic run. Because Guardians has had a lot of different team members over the years. <clears throat> and the Guardians of the Galaxy that we know from the movies is borrowed from the Abnett run. Great run. I love it. I highly recommend it. Then you have War of Kings. War of Kings is a epic Marvel saga that uh, it has a lot of cosmic stuff. It has X-Men stuff. I believe it has... The Vulcan stuff, which is like the third Summers brother. It's definitely a great set to own. The problem is, is that this book is covered in its entirety throughout these three volumes. I mentioned this was um, issues 1 through 25. And the first volume, uh, which is The Road to War of Kings, you get issues 1 through 12 from this run. And you get other stuff too. You get Son of M 1 through 6, X Men Deadly Genesis 1 through 6, Silent War, Secret Invasion, Inhumans. You get Nova stuff um, and more. Jumping into the actual main story, War of Kings, you get uh, the, the uh, Guardians run continues. You get Guardians of the Galaxy 13 through 19. And then the final volume of the, uh, the series. You get the end of the run. You get Guardians 20 through 25. So what do you buy? Well, if you want every Guardians of the Galaxy omnibus, you got to pick this up, right? But then if you buy War of Kings, this book is basically useless. Uh, I think your best bet is going for the War of Kings because you get everything that's collected in this book, plus you get more. You get all these little mini-series and tie-ins that tell the bigger picture of what is only being told from the Guardians of the Galaxy perspective in this book. Now that being said, it's gonna cost you more money to get these, and I think some of them are out of print, but I'm talking, I don't know, when it first came out, right? Uh, there are other uh, issues that are collected in this book, like you have Thanos Imperative, one through six, you get Annihilators, one through four, and those uh, issues are collected in this third volume as well. I mean, it's even the same graphic on the back of the book, which is issue one from that series. So, a big double dip. Like I mentioned before, Guardians is a, the culprit again. They double dip with the Thanos War stuff. They double dip now with War of Kings. And um, it's something that if you're new to the game or you're buying these books, just be aware. You might be like me and still pick them up because you wanted this run and you wanted every Guardians Omni. But uh, just know that this whole thing is collected in these books as well. That's it for the uh, Omnibus That Double Dip for today. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Stay minty. Peace.